last topic of the show that I thought we would never be talking about on the show, which is Lacey Evans. Lacey <laughs> Evans has been released from WWE. She released a statement, I believe, on Instagram saying that at, at midnight tonight, I'll now be known as Limitless. I think it was Macy or something like that. Something along those oh, lines. No, but nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, Lacey Evans has been released from WWE. Um <laughs> How do you feel about her release? How do you feel about the reception of her release? Let me know. Tell me why, Guan. Um, I don't give a shit about her going anywhere because I forgot she existed, first and foremost. Um, the most I kind of liked Lacey was when she was doing her first gimmick. Um, I don't even know what the first gimmick was, but she the looked lady. like a pinup doll. Yeah, the lady. And she kept telling everyone to act like a lady, and she was just being a stuck-up bitch. And I actually kind of enjoyed it, and I kind of enjoyed it during the um, the pandemic era when she was bantering with Bailey, and I got to see some of her personality off camera because she was recording videos with other people where she was bringing her gimmick to real life just for shits and giggles. Right. And to me, it, that gimmick actually was more like likable than what the what she was doing with the Sergeant Slaughter thing. It just came off very unnatural. Mm -hmm. Um. That and not for nothing, Lacey Evans came out of NXT too soon. She wasn't ready. She can do some things very well. She is very athletic. It's not hard to tell that she's not an athletic woman. But being athletic doesn't always translate to being a decent wrestler. And I feel like she needed more time to marinate in NXT. However, Vince has a hard-on for in, for in-shape blondes with no asses and implants. Um, she and, and 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 Lacey just encapsulated that, so I could see why he he promoted her so fast. But it was just she was just bound to fail regardless. If I'm not mistaken, she her the way she blew up on on, on WWE or Diamond blew up because she never did blow up. Honestly, she staggered then she flopped. But um, the way she was bought upon WWE, I'll never forget the time they kept spamming her walking up and down the fucking ramp. Like a crackhead. Just walking up down the motherfucker. And she, she did it during WrestleMania too. She interrupted fucking WrestleMania to walk up the fucking ramp and walk back again. And she did it over and over again compulsively until she fought Becky Lynch. And then she was signing by Charlotte. And she just went through like a borderline personality disorder with, with pertaining to her gimmick because it's a gimmick you could have played with. You really could have played with it. You could have right. made her the girl that shames every bitch on the roster for not being a lady. She really, you really could have done something fun with it, but they just didn't know what to do with it. And then they wanted to push her. But the problem with Lacey is that you cannot push her because she wasn't ready. Right. And they did give her ample opportunities to be pushed. Um, they gave her and, and, and Natty, um, the, the Saudi precedent. Match. Yeah. They were, they were in the Saudi show. You know what I mean? That like you could tell that they wanted to do something with Lacey, but she just wasn't there on a wrestling level. Mm. And then not only that, she kept flopping in the ring. Every match you gave her, like the only takeaway you could give is that someone had to lead her or she was continuously botching. And that's all the, dis the discourse was regarding Lacey. That being said, I need y'all to stop acting like you give a fuck about her release because now you got me irritated. <laughs> Y'all did not give a flying fuck about her. The only time y'all was talking about her was because she flopped in the ring or because her, her ring gear looked a goddamn mess. If not that, you were tired of her weak-ass promos about her being part of the military and blase skip. Can y'all stop with that? Just because someone got released doesn't mean we all have to be sad. Like, it's okay to just shrug your shoulders and just shake it off, you know what I mean? Because y'all really be ignoring wrestlers while they're employed? not fighting for them when they're employed. And then when they put something in notation that I'm leaving this bitch, all of a sudden you guys want to be like, yay, oh my God, you deserve so much better. You were such a good wrestler. She was not nothing. She was nothing of the sort. Can you stop acting like it? You look like you're about to say something, Jordan. I am. Go ahead. So I, I don't think that, well, for starters, when, obviously as, as, a, as a morally sound human being, I want people to be able to like make money, make a living. They should. Um, was Lacey Evans like my favorite wrestler? No, no. But oh, no. at the same, <laughs> at the same time, 
I get the whole like well wishes and oh you were good at this and you were good at that. They weren't well wishing her at all. They were lying. To be to me, Lacey had a good three months, and that was after WrestleMania 35. And I think that they just kind of gave up on her because the WWE universe kind of didn't show as much interest as they thought that they would. Um, so I think that that's kind of where she just kind of fell off that. Um, I think there were also some things relating to like just like some of the comments that she's made in the past on Twitter about like science and health and just all these conspiracy theories that she'd be promoting. That she try to denounce autism. Yeah. 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 Try (laughs) to denounce all (laughs) a special type of stupid y'all. But anyway, um, I think there were other things and other factors that kind of contributed to her release. Maybe she wanted to be released. Maybe she didn't, but it's going to be very, very interesting to see where she goes from here. Public Enemies on Twitter said that she's about to do numbers in the NWA, and I was screaming. Um, <laughs> Why are they doing her like that? First of all, let me just stop and say this. If NWA, Y'all stop. If, if Fox News was a wrestling show, if Fox News was a wrestling company, it would be the NWA. That's how I feel about the NWA. But, but yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I, I wish her well. I Not feel personally. like when it comes to wrestling fans, a lot of people, the, the problem with wrestling fans is that wrestling fans don't necessarily um, stand for anything. They just kind of stand against everything and they want to be against the company or against a wrestler or against some, they want to be against something and they thrive on being contrarians. And it's like, oh, but we're passionate fans. But a fan means you have to advocate for something. And if you're not advocating for something and you're just kind of advocating against it, then you're not really and truly a fan. So that's just kind of my whole take on that. But I definitely wanted to know what y'all take on the release of Lacey Evans is. Leave it in the comments below. And yeah, 